Much of IID's work um, in relation to the Convention on Biological Diversity has focused on Article 8J, which deals with the protection of traditional knowledge, innovations and practices of Indigenous peoples and local communities. So the key um, focus of our work has been on how to protect traditional knowledge in accordance with customary laws rather than in accordance with Western intellectual property models such as patents. We wanted to find alternative ways which are in line with the customary laws of indigenous and local communities. So our research was conducted in five countries in 11 different ethnic groups and uh, based on that we were able to inform the convention's guidance for parties on how to protect traditional knowledge based on customary laws. And um, that work has also led us to develop a, a new concept, the concept of biocultural heritage, which um, essentially um, focuses on the links between traditional knowledge, biodiversity, landscapes, cultural and spiritual values, and customary laws. And these linkages come from the indigenous worldview but through our research we found that they're also there in practice. And the problem with um, the CBD policy arena is that it separates traditional knowledge, which are owned by communities, which is owned by communities, and the genetic resources are national sovereignty. So governments really tend to appropriate them as national ownership. But for communities, genetic resources like crops and medicinal plants are really important for survival and they've developed them and improved them over generations. So the lack of ownership over these resources is a problem for them. So through the concept of biocultural heritage, we are trying to get governments to recognise the rights of indigenous and local communities over not just traditional knowledge, but the associated genetic resources and biodiversity.